The Pistons Lava. Brian Little. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Turbo Shot Incredible. So, today we're gonna do some more work on the 500 horsepower budget build. About time, right? Yeah, it has been a little bit of a while, we apologize, but we're here, more work's getting done. What are we gonna do today? Uh, today, we're gonna clean up the crankshaft, we're gonna get the new rods, our 5.3 rods, onto our 4.8 pistons, and um, see what else we get done. That's right, 5.3 rods that we'll be getting installed with the engine. This is the 5.3 crank. This one we need to clean up. You can probably see how gross it is. It's got, yeah, look at that. So we're gonna be cleaning the crank up. We're gonna be cleaning our flat top 4.8 pistons. The 5.3s have a dish, so that, that's a dead giveaway. And these are the old rods, the old 4.8 rods. Uh, in case you're wondering, the main difference between the two rods is the length. Now these are Gen 4 rods. Uh, so we don't need any special equipment to do this. We're basically just gonna use this little screwdriver right here and we're gonna be able to swap all these over. If this was a Gen 3, we'd need a press and press the pins out, but these, it's a full float, so they just slide right in and out, it's easy. We'll probably be done with this quick. That's all right, so we're gonna show you guys how we get that done. So there's a snap ring in here, like so. How's the light? It's good. All right, so I just, Put my little flathead in there, pry it up, kind of get a grip on it because they like to fly. Okay, it's kind of dirty. <laughs> ah, that's... You want a soft tap hammer in the I shouldn't. Pocket? I shouldn't need one. This should just slide right out. You got some PV glass there, also. Yeah. I just need some lubrication. This is just not the one to start with, probably. Yeah, it's old, seized up, dirty. It, it does feel firm. Where is that PB blaster? And we, we, we should probably shoot that again. I have no fear, lubrication is here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shut up, I'm trying. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Oh, I've never seen one quite so stubborn. Yeah. Want to use the rubber mallet? You got one? Yeah. It looked great before I tore them all apart. Yeah. Human press. That's the lady's gone. It probably won't focus because I'm so close to it now. So that's one way to do it. Yeah, that's one way. <laughs> Normally they're not that hard. Yeah. I don't, I don't feel any uh, intense wear on them or anything. No scoring. It all looks proper, so we'll have to clean it up and see how they fit together after that. Yeah, just some corrosion. Yeah, it's probably just more the Cro oil. Yeah, it's oil. It's all over everything. Yeah. All right, so you just saw a struggle getting that first pin out. Uh, it's just a lot of corrosion. Not corrosion, but... Oil. Old oil. Yeah, old oil residue. I just soaked them all in some PB Blaster. That should help break it down a bit. And now we're gonna start cleaning the crank. That way we can get that nice and cleaned up. And then we're gonna move on to the piston rings. And then by the time we're done with the crank and the piston rings, hopefully the PP Blaster did its job and it'll make sliding out the pins a lot easier. We'll see. The 
crank cleanup came together pretty well. You guys just check that out. We just sprayed it down with some Pyro Purple. Let it sit for a couple minutes. Scrubbed it down. Sprayed it again. Scrubbed it down. Sprayed it again. And then rinsed it off. You all saw it. And it looks great. We're going to let it dry. And then we're going to oil the journals to make sure those don't get any rust on there. And then we're going to move on to the piston rings. Alrighty guys, so we're about to measure the crankshaft so we know what size bearings to get. Ignore my terrible handwriting, but this is what we're going to do. We have everything laid out. So crankshaft measurements, got the connecting rod journal diameter. And at the bottom we got the crankshaft main journal diameter, both in inches and in millimeters. So we'll get started and we'll fill it in as we go. Okay, so we got done measuring the connecting rod journals and the main journals. Uh, so far, it looks like it's 10 thousandths under. We're going to measure it again a second time with a different set of calipers and see if it still comes out consistent, and then we'll go from there. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you should be more careful. These are old. That's why I don't really care. Yeah. I mean, you can use the rings to scrape out all the crap that's inside the ring land. That's, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. There you have it, folks. And I mean... Okay, so all the piston rings are off. Went by smooth and easy. And now we're going to go ahead and get all these pins out. So we can swap them over. Or actually, so we can get them cleaned. And then we'll swap them over to the next, to the new rods. All right, so as you can see, the pins are out. So next, we were going to go ahead and put them on the new rods. But we decided we're going to go ahead and get them cleaned up first. And then we'll put them on the new rods. On the left, I have the 4.8 Gen 4 rods. And on the right, I have the 5.3 Gen 4 rods. Uh, the 4.8 rods are a little longer. And here, you can actually see... How much, I'd say quarter inch or so. But yeah, no, it doesn't take much. All right, so we just got some standard oven cleaner. Great value. That's right. Well, actually it's not standard, it is heavy duty. So we're going to spray it on, we're going to let it sit for a minute or two to help loosen up the grime. Got this little brush here and we're going to scrub it off and then we'll go back, probably spray it again with the Power Purple and then rinse it off. Okay, so it's just like brushing your teeth, just, just make big circles and uh, hopefully you won't get any cavities. Let's see if I can, yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, that's gonna clean up nice. Yeah. And this carbon stuff is so hard to get off. And that oven cleaner just ate right through it. But uh, that's two passes with the oven cleaner and that little scrubber. So it works. Yeah, it's beautiful. It looks almost brand new. Yeah, still a little bit on the ring lens there. Um, yeah, you can use, oh, that one won't fit in there, but. <laughs> That's a good way to get all the crap out of the ring lands. Probably should have started with this. Yeah. 
So now you have a picture of clean and dirty pistons. So these here are all their stock ones. As they came out of that high mileage crap engine. And here are the ones we've been cleaning. Now this is only two passes with the oven cleaner, some scrubbing, and then rinsing off with the hose. Light scrubbing. Yeah, light scrubbing. It wasn't even that much. Yeah. But you can see it looks almost new. It's just like world's difference. So this oven cleaner is great. We only spent five bucks. Uh, and that was two dollars, two and a half dollars for the can, and then two and a half dollars for the scrubbing brush that we've been using. Yeah, so so far we've only spent five bucks, five bucks well spent. Because the last time we cleaned this, Ben bought a can yeah. of solvent for like 20 bucks. It was like a paint can, like a big jug thing. And it was, it was like 20 bucks and it worked really well. But I had to leave the pistons in there for hours to get them clean. And se yeah, several times. And these just sat for like maybe five minutes and then we scrubbed it. Yeah. Got some fresh oil here. I'm just gonna lubricate the, the, the journals. It makes it a little bit easier to slide in. All right, so when you're installing these, dot on the piston. And then the dot, the dimple on the rod will be opposite of each other. Yeah. Yeah. See, that one pushed right in. Yeah, I think oiling the journals helped a lot more. Okay. So. The first four have been assembled. That's like really close. There we go. All in their beautiful glory. These four are in the process. All right, so today, just a quick recap. We took apart the original pistons out of the old connecting rods. We cleaned off all the carbon deposits using, get this. Oven cleaner. Oven cleaner, that's right, and it worked Phenomenally. Who would have thought? Uh, exactly. So then we went ahead and took off the old piston rings to get ready for the new ones. We cleaned up the crankshaft, measured the crankshaft, so now we have an idea of what no size bearings bearing. we need to get. And then we started to assemble to the uh, pistons onto the new 5.3 rods. So a lot of work got done today. Really excited about it, really happy about it and exhausted so it's time to go eat and relax we had a question if you guys have any good suggestions or good ideas of ways to uh get the snap rings back inside to the pistons uh to hold the pins let us know in the comments below we're really curious to find out um oh and we are doing a t-shirt giveaway so if you want to be entered into that all you gotta do is comment below with a reason why we will be choosing the winner at random We'll be using a software-based thing for that, um, so it'll be completely random. I have a coin flip app on my phone. It'll be an actual one that's <laughs> designed for you to select the random comment. Really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. It I didn't is. know. All right. So we'll do that. So if you want this shirt, it'll be a white Gibberish and T. I'll have a picture up right here. You can take a picture, a look at that. And Normally uh, we're wearing them, but not today. Yeah. Mine's in so, the wash. If you want that, leave a comment below just saying why you want it or why you should have it, and uh, randomly one of you will win. So thanks again for checking us out. We really appreciate it. Remember, give us a like, show us a subscribe, and comment below because we love to talk to you guys. Thanks again. Y'all have a good night. And remember, do something awesome. This, nice. And that has the Z07 package. That is very scary. And carbon wheels. Oh my god. Somebody spent some money on these wheels. Oh man, that's cheap.